Well, good morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in today. We're live from St. Augustine Beach. The waves are crashing in behind us. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. I have a huge favor to ask each and every one of you. But first, I'd like to go over my foot gear and my cook set. I'm going to be starting off in February on EAT. After a lot of research, trying on a lot of trail runners and a lot of hiking boots, I'm going to be rocking the Ultra Lone Peak 3.5s. To me, they are the comfortablest shoes I've had on my feet. So these are the shoes I'm going to be starting off on EAT with. The biggest selling point to me was the wide toe box. It gives me plenty of room in that shoe. Makes for a comfortable ride. My feet are nice and comfortable. Also too, they have a zero drop, which means the heel is the same height as the toe. They come in at 10.4 ounces. They have a four point gator system. They have a point up front, point in the back, and two points on the side. A little modification I did I added the Solomon quick lay system to this shoe. It took me about 10 minutes, but uh, I actually hiked uh, my section hike in April with a pair of Solomons, and I love their quick lay system, so I integrated that to my Lone Peak 3.5s, and I'm sure that's gonna work perfect. But these are the shoes that I'm gonna start off with, the Ultra Lone Peak 3.5s. And I can't wait to go ahead and put a couple hundred miles on, on them and let you guys know exactly how they stand up. Also, too, I'm going with a pair of Fox River sock liners. I used these liners on my section hike two in April. Never had a blister. My feet were fine. So I'm going to go ahead and rock these liners again. Also, too, taking a couple pair of darn tough socks, used them on my section hike in April, too, as well, and never had a blister. My feet held up fine, so I'm going to go ahead and pair these up with my sock liners from Fox River, my Ultra Lone Peak 3.5s, and I think I'm starting off on the right foot in February on the AT. Also, too, I'm taking two ACE support uh, braces uh, for my ankles. I had these also, too, on my section hike. Georgia is rocky and rooty, and I'm glad I have them. They gave, they gave me that extra support that I needed for my ankles. I didn't have a problem, so I'm going to uh, so go ahead and take two of these ankle support uh, braces from um, ACE, and I'm sure that's going to work perfect, too. I'm excited about this Gore-Tex sock that I picked up about a month and a half ago. This is new to my kit. It's the Deck Shell High Therm Pro sock. And it's a Gore-Tex waterproof sock. It's not AT tested yet, but I have tested it at the house. It, um, it worked flawlessly. I filled my bathtub up, up with water. I threw in four bags of ice, they were 20 pounds each, and uh, I soaked my uh, feet in there for about 30 minutes. My feet were cool, but they were not cold. And I'll tell you what, when I took them socks off, they were bone dry. This is the Deck Shell High Therm Pro socks. The fit was perfect. I'm a 10, I got a large. They're almost like a neoprene uh, outside. The inside is a merino wool. And I'll tell you what, like I said, I had my feet submerged in that water with uh, four 20 pound bags of ice. And I'll tell you, my feet were cool, like I said, but they weren't cold. They were bone dry when I took the socks off. I cannot wait to get these things on the AT, put them in the elements and get this tested and get back to you guys with a review. But I think these socks from Deck Shell are going to work perfect. If you're in the market for some Gore-Tex socks, I highly, highly, highly 
recommend these socks from Deck Shell, the High Therm Pro. You can get them on Amazon. Also, too, I don't have them now, but I have a pair of uh, Dirty Girl Gators coming, and uh, I asked Santa Claus to pick me out any pattern uh, she wanted to, and uh, that's what I'll be rocking uh, to also on the AT. So I got to thank Santa Claus, my sister, for them Dirty Girls. They're coming here in a couple days for Christmas. Um, last but not least are going to be my camp shoes. They're simply just some Walmart flip-flops. They're about eight or nine dollars. They're nice and light. They're open-toed, which I don't mind. All I'm going to be doing is wearing them around the camp anyway. But uh, like I said, they're nice and light. They're cheap. And I'll be rocking these things around the camp from Georgia to Maine. Another thing about my Ultra Lone Peak 3.5s, Bearded Servant, uh, he put out a little video uh, about a day or two ago, and he actually got the uh, Lone Peak 3.0s for half price on the REI Garage. So if you're looking maybe to get into the Ultra Lone Peak uh, shoe and you want a, 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 a good deal, Look up on the REI Garage website and see if they still have a couple of uh, sizes left in that Ultra Lone Peak 3.0. And uh, you might be able to get them for half price, but that was a good little, uh, good little find from Bearded Servant. So um, I just wanted to throw that little nugget out there for you. On to my cook set. On my section hike, I... Uh, Use the GSI cook set, and that set worked flawlessly. Um, it was Teflon coated, and the only thing I wanted to do on my through hike, I'm gonna be a little gram counter, so um, I wanted something a little lighter. So I went with the ever new titanium 900 milliliter pot. It comes in at 3.7 ounces. Unfortunately, it's not Teflon coated. It's got a wider base than the GSI, so it should cook up my water a little quicker. It comes with these uh, two Teflon coated handles and a Teflon coated top for the pot. And that really doesn't, um, that weight there doesn't bother me. You're not gonna be cutting off that much weight if you go ahead and take that off. But um, like I said, it comes in at 3.7 ounces. It was lighter than my GSI. My GSI worked great for my section hike, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start off with the Evernew Titanium 900 milliliter pot, and I think that's gonna work perfect. Of course, everybody rocks the Mini Bic. Mine's gonna be red. And last but not least is gonna be my Snow, Snow Peak Max Light titanium stove <clears throat> comes in at two ounces had it on my section hike in April work perfect so I'm, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the snow peak max light titanium stove like I said comes in at two ounces works perfectly I've had it I've had it uh, working around the house I've been cooking meals I've taken it I've taken it on a couple of hikes uh, local already it works flawlessly with my ever new so this is my cook system that I'm going to go ahead and be starting off with in February on my through hike. Well, what's the huge favor I have to ask? I'm asking each and every one of you out there, what would you like to see in my videos? I'm getting on top of Springer. I'm hiking all the way to Maine. I'm going to summit Katahdin and I'm going to kiss that sign. But you know what it is? It's all those miles in between that are gonna make up this journey. I'm gonna be taking a lot of videos. I'm gonna be seeing a lot of things I've never seen before in my whole life. And I wanna hear from you. Underdog, this is a place you wanna see. Underdog, you can't miss this. You can't miss that. Hey, by the way, you might wanna check this out. Well, you know what? Drop that in the comment box. Let me know what you wanna see 
what you think I should be seeing. And I'm going to make time to see that. I'm going to put that in my videos. And you know what? That's what's going to make this journey special for me, seeing all these places. And with your help, I'm going to see even more than what I am even going to expect to see. But I'm going to need your help. And that's, that's my favor I ask from each and every one of you. Put in the comment box what you would like to see in my videos and I am gonna go ahead and do my darndest to get to those places, put them on film, and share them with everybody. Well, I wanna wish everybody a Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, a safe and Happy New Year. I look forward to putting out more videos. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I just wish everybody the best. This is Underdog. I'm going to sign off. And everybody out there, keep on keeping on.